Prince Harry, 33, and Meghan Markle, 36, visited Cardiff, Wales, for the third public engagement together. The US-born actress proved to be a hit with Welsh fans queuing from 6 a.m. to meet the Love Up couple. Besotted Harry made a promise to his bride-to-be to visit cities across the UK before their wedding in May. Prince Harry's bride-to-be got the seal of approval from Welsh fans after being swamped by adoring schoolchildren and supporters during her first trip to country's capital. The Love Up pair arrived at Cardiff Castle on Thursday morning to a crowd of screaming fans as they embarked on their third public engagement ahead of their wedding in May. Meghan was overheard telling supporters she was a super lucky woman and even joked with two fans that the Welsh city would be a fun location for a hand party. The US-born actress appeared to break tradition by signing an autograph for one overjoyed schoolgirl and posing for a picture with a sixth form student. Meghan mania reached fever pitch by the time Miss Markle and her besotted prince arrived at Star Hub Community Leisure Centre in the economically deprived area of Tremorf in the afternoon. Miss Markle, 36, was quickly surrounded by youngsters desperate to meet her as her red-headed fiancé cheekily encouraged pupils by saying, let's all give Meghan a group hug. The heartwarming moment came just 24 hours after Miss Markle's future sister-in-law the Duchess of Cambridge cuddled pupils during a visit in southwest London. Harry and Meghan were as at ease hugging and conversing with the youngsters as Kate was a day earlier, paying particular interest in the work of Street Games, a project coordinated at the Tremorfa-based centre. The Prince has worked with the group previously. Their aim to make sport accessible to all young people, regardless of their social circumstances. The couple were met by hordes of screaming crowds, which the princess shook his head in shock on hearing. Inside they had a brief private meeting before going into the gym where a group of local school girls from the Us Girls Project, set up to encourage women to take part in sport, are on exercise bikes. How long have you been pedaling? Harry asked the girls who had been forced to pedal for several minutes while waiting for their arrival. And yet you are all still smiling, said Meghan, who introduced herself to each and every one of them by name. How much better is it to come here each evening instead of sitting at home playing on the PlayStation, she added. Afterwards Mary Coffey, 13, from Willow High School said, she was amazing, so easy to talk to. And so beautiful. There was a glow about her. And her teeth. I can't believe I was talking to someone who lives in Buckingham Palace. The couple then went in to see a group of youngsters playing table tennis. Meghan was given two bouquets of flowers by Kate and Williams, 10. For me? She said, how thoughtful of you. I love them. She also couldn't resist playing a game of Jenga, balancing wooden blocks on top of each other, with Kevin Chidwai, 12. I love this game. She said, you need so much patience for it, it teaches you patience too. Clutching her throat she her hand she added, it makes me so nervous just watching it. The photograph that almost broke royal protocol, Meghan makes schoolgirls day after agreeing to a snap. Sixth former Amy Thomas, 18, is believed to be one of the only people who managed to persuade Meghan Markle to pose for a picture during her visit to Cardiff. Ordinarily royals are warned off selfies as they are frowned upon by the Queen. In Nottingham, Miss Markle explained to a disappointed couple who asked for a picture, we are not allowed to take them. But it seems the American princess made an exception for 18-year-old Amy this morning. Amy asked for a selfie but handed her camera to Mum Michelle who took the shot, 